Hello YouTube, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy and this is my latest video. Um, I'm going to talk about the fact that I just recently returned from a 10 week adventure into Europe. I visited three countries, Italy, France and Spain and I did all the usual tourist stuff which was wonderful but there were some unexpected things that happened to me, some interesting experiences. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but first let's do the introduction. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, I like I said, I spent ten weeks in Europe, and I, and in those ten weeks, I also spent forty-two days straight walking a pilgrimage right across the whole country of Spain from east to west. It's uh, something called the Camino Frances, and it was an amazing experience for me. But um, let me talk first a little bit about uh, Europe. I I had a goal, a kind of a specific under goal, I don't know what you'd call it, so a sub goal. You know, I wanted to do tourist stuff, and um, but I had the, a, a sub goal of tracking and following along and fam some famous people from the past while I was there. Um, in, in Italy, I wanted to uh, track down some of the greats from the Renaissance, which included da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Galileo. And then while I was in France, you know, I, I, I slowly made my way around the Mediterranean. And while in France, I wanted to follow in the tracks of the Knights Templar, which was uh, pretty interesting. And then while I was in Spain, on the pilgrimage, I wanted to follow the trail of Ernest Hemingway, uh, because he was... He kind of made things in Spain famous, you know, the bullfighting, the uh, with his novel *The Sun Also Rises* and uh, various other things. But you know, so I kind of in my mind I was taking my typical tourist um, adventure to another level. A little did I know, though, that the whole adventure would take things for me even to another level, a level even deeper. I. Um, on my very first day of my pilgrimage, which I almost didn't make, I almost failed on my very first day of that 500 mile walk. It was quite a day. You have to get up and over the Pyrenees Mountains. and It was a 13 hour day of walking for me, but um, I made it, but I almost failed. And um, let me see, and I had an epiphany. I had something happen to me that gave me the inspiration for my next book. And on towards the end, so I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more, but this video is just kind of like a little bit of an overview kind of video. Uh, and a lot of things really struck me about walking a pilgrimage like that across the country. Day after day after day, it's, it can get very arduous, and very difficult, but it's a pilgrimage. It's, some suffering is expected. And the last few days of the pilgrimage is really almost mystical because you pass through... A eucalyptus forest. Eucalyptus That's something. Forest. It's almost like magic. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that here on YouTube that um, I'm back. It was an amazing adventure for me. I um, didn't saw a lot of things. I'm going to share a little bit of that with you here on YouTube. But as you know, uh, YouTube shadow banned me and my channel is dead. Uh, this is why for the past couple of years... I have the same exact number of subscribers that I've had. You know, I don't get, I can't get any more new subscribers. I, um, I have, you know, 350,000 subscribers and I post a video and it doesn't get much reviews. It's, I don't know why YouTube did it. It's their company. It's, um, I guess they have the right to do whatever they want. But anyway, if you want to follow along in this adventure, and get sharing, oh, you know, you all the various things that happened to me, all the various things I saw. I have, have 4,000, over 4,000 pictures and videos from the whole adventure. You know, Rome, and Pisa, and Florence, and the Mediterranean coast, and Carcassonne, which was really special, and Lourdes, and um, the whole trek across Spain on foot. Um, you'll... Well, if you want to share along in this adventure, um, you check out my Patreon page where you can um, support me in my endeavors. 
and get inside stuff, including access to all 4,000 of those pictures, which will be coming up. But, um, thank you very much. You know, it was a wonderful adventure for me, a beautiful 10 weeks. Um, really interesting, the things, the unexpected things that happened and the unexpected way in which I experienced that um, sojourn, I guess, or adventure in, in, in three countries in Europe. Uh, thank you. Grazie. No, 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 lasciate perché sono diventato un favorito.